Welcome to ESETI News, news from a higher perspective. The uh, solar eclipse was watched by millions. What they did not know is the energy was preempted by satanic pedophile rituals conjuring up all kinds of bad nasties to wreak havoc on the earth. Their rituals imploded on them thanks to the benevolent ultra-dimensionals, archangels, and masters, as well as those on earth who qualified the energies to be used for a better tomorrow. Everything they conjured up was destroyed and now they are floundering with no guidance and no protection. Congress decided to create a special investigation into Obama, Comey, Hillary, the DNC, the Clinton Foundation, several Republicans on the Clinton payroll trying to rig the election, a document calling for the assassination of President Trump, as well as a long list of deaths associated with those who publicly oppose them. The Clintons responded as reported by CNN, this is not an official investigation, it's a matter that can be easily settled over tea. Antifa has been officially declared a terrorist organization due to a petition from the American people to end the violence and separation. A spokesman for Antifa said, while waving a Nazi-inspired flag, just because we are funded by an admitted Nazi, Soros, who meets the criteria of fascism to the T, and just because we use violence to force our beliefs on others, does not mean we're fascists or Nazis. In fact, we are against fascists and Nazis. <laughs> okay. <laughs> also in the news, Antifa is now protesting in front of the buildings owned by Soros, demanding to be paid the money he promised them. Stiff by a billionaire, go figure, the same elite they profess to be against. Could it be they're deeply confused, morally challenged, deeply wounded, and have been manipulated to express that anger against the very people trying to free them? A major rethink with brutal honesty is in order. A special investigation to Soros has also been authorized due to his meddling in other countries around the world, dividing them, creating social unrest, collapsing their governments, and then cashing in when their economy collapses, making billions. He has been funding several organizations, Open Borders, Black Lives Matter, Antifa, etc., resulting in widespread violence, the death of thousands, throwing them into abject poverty around the world. Seriously. Uh, you know, people take down America and who will grow and distribute your food, where you find shelter, heat, etc. You know, of course there's problems and gross and even dispersal of wealth, poverty, etc. Yet total collapse through violence is not the answer. America is on the right track to ending this. It won't happen overnight. The deep state and the globalists who created this mess are being dealt with despite the fact that many have been duped into doing their bidding. Please do some research into who you're aligning yourself with. All right, so did you know unseen negative influences are feeding on the anger, the violence, and their puppets, the very people sponsoring the separation of violence, are creating it. On a lighter note, a message was just received on high. The real God is pressing hard upon the earth. The Palladians, who have more human, animal, and plant genetics on than any other major star nations, are now in charge. The draconian grid is finished. The Earth has been colonized several times throughout ancient history and terraformed. Its original intent and design was to be an Eden where all life could evolve to its highest potential. Unfortunately, it was hijacked and now it's going to be reset. The Earth is ascending. Everything that is not frequency specific and out of alignment with universal law will transform or collapse. Universal law can be described as universal peace, brother sister love, individual freedom and prosperity for all. This includes honoring the sacred circle of life. If you want to stand for something, march for something, make that be your focus. It's what everybody truly desires in their heart of hearts. Be one with their creator, live a loving, joyous, abundant life in harmony. For those who have an issue with the gods of the past, the bearded gods, Egyptian, Greek, and other ancient images generated by the Anunnaki, some benevolent, some self-serving, which many of your religions are based upon, this is not the God of which we speak. The God of which we speak is the one consciousness that encompasses all consciousness on all planes and dimensions throughout the multiverse, the creator within all creation, the temple that is within each and every one of you, no matter what culture or belief. First and foremost, make kindness your religion, be kind to yourselves, to others, the very platform for life which provides you existence. To simplify this, an ancient Cherokee saying is, if it isn't good for everyone, it isn't good. One more note. Uh, <clears throat> 
a lot of comments on the <laughs> on the uh, YouTube channel about why am I wearing this robe and I'm not wearing a suit and tie, you know? Um, the suits and ties are what's got us into this problem. And I only have one answer for that. 